I think the uh, ISDH subcommittee on hemostasis and malignancy has been quite active uh, in the past. Um, I think the goals were um, to summarize the recent evidence that we gained in different fields of cancer and thrombosis and then also to uh, provide some guidance how to integrate uh, this evidence um, in clinical practice. And uh, Mark, uh, with his leadership, uh, has um, uh, has has helped us uh, to provide some or produce some guidance statements um, recently. So one on how to um, manage screening for occult cancer. So because there we had some new data, and then the second thing was um, how to use DOEX for treatment of uh, patients with cancer who develop thrombosis. And I think the second uh, job that uh, uh, we want to do is to identify knowledge gaps and then to provide something new, new proposals how to address these knowledge gaps in future. Yeah, I agree. I think the, f the future of the SSC is really to identify the knowledge gap in cancer associated thrombosis management and once we identify them, can we try to fill it with a guidance, for example, to help clinicians to manage these cases or can we do a, a small research project and involve a more junior investigator or colleague to join to propose a study and then from there getting the answers that will lead to better care for patients with cancer associated thrombosis. And we are not just focusing I think on clinical questions so we are also interested in basic science so we have also uh, ideas um, of um, developing something for basic research for animal models. So I think the um, um, co-chairs are very diverse, coming from different fields. So basic research, translational research, and also clinicians. So I think um, so. I think so. I think there's room for everybody. We try to make half of it a bit more clinical, half of it a bit, bit more basic science, trying to come up with new ideas. Today there is uh, IRCIP, for example, which is a new molecule that is exciting, trying to see how it can be integrated in the clinical practice or clinical research yeah. or translational research. And then obviously the ongoing projects, it's good to keep an eye on the, the big prospective cohort study with the biobank from Bergamo, for example, with Professor Falanga and uh, colleagues from France. So I think everybody has a little bit of something to look for. And I think um, this SSC subcommittee provides also a platform for col collaboration mm -hmm. because some of the questions that we are facing in clinical practice are maybe not so frequent uh, but uh, when we collaborate uh, on an international level so we will we have the opportunity to generate uh, evidence a bigger evidence yeah right I saw a lot of new collaboration being formed today through the ISTH uh, database, for example, but we're red cap, so I think it's exciting and the future looks bright for management of cancer associated thrombosis and hemostasis with malignancy. And finally, I would just like to appreciate Mark's efforts in leading this uh, SSC subcommittee on um, malignancy and hemostasis. So he does this in an excellent way. So we have regular um, telephone calls, telephone conferences. So and to keep us active so you're very nice but it's really a, a team effort so i wouldn't do much on my own so i have excellent co-chairs that are making me a, it facilitate the work quite a bit so it's been a a good experience yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs>